Mahara allows us to create our personal digital portfolio. In this video we will see how to do it and learn about its characteristics. A portfolio is a location in which to have organized all our personal achievements, skills, experience, hobbies, studies, to be shared and used in the future. In the profile you can fill in basic information about yourself like personal information, your contact information, your social networks and your work. In this tab you can upload one or more profile photos. Then you will have to select the one that suits you as a profile picture among all uploads. In this tab you can perform all types of management on your files, upload files, delete files and organize them by folders. The journal tab is similar to a real journal. On this page you can add entries with text and attachments. These files are taken from the files menu that we talked about earlier. The resume tab acts as a curriculum, with the data in this document. Filling in this information is important so that you can use it later. Mahara divides the curriculum into personal data, studies and work experience, achievements, goals and skills and interests. The plans tab helps us to introduce our projects and plans for the future. Within a plan you can assign smaller tasks with name, description, and completion deadline. Here you can see and manage all the notes you have been creating. This page will be filled automatically with the notes that you will make later in another menu that we will see later. In this tab you can make a European Curriculum Vitae, or Europass. Some of the information will be automatically filled in with the data you have entered in the previous tabs. To create a page, click the Create Page button. This page must specify data prior to editing, such as the title of the page, its description, labels and the author's name. To save the fields click Save when finished. In this page you must select a template among all the proposals. Once selected, it must be saved with the Save button. You can experiment with different templates until you make sure you have the most appropriate for your page. On this page you can fill in the template you have selected with content. You can take advantage of much of the data entered when making your resume or writing your plans, among others. The data is already written and you just have to fill in the template by dragging and dropping the blocks in the position you prefer. You can place images, PDFs, journal or journal entries, CV fields, each block has its small configuration.
Here you can group the pages that have been created by collections. It is interesting to create collections because this way permissions and preferences can be assigned when sharing multiple pages, facilitating the management task when the volume of pages is especially large. In this tab you can set the sharing permissions of each of the collections or pages. You can share them with friends, groups, institutions or individual users, among others. It can be shared by collections or page by page. To modify the sharing permissions click on the edit access of the page or collection that you want. In this tab you can see all the pages that have shared with you. In a page that you have shared you can enhance comments and even attach files to them. When importing a portfolio, the only supported format is Leap2A. Exporting a portfolio can be selected if you want a final HTML or Leap2A file, the latter will be the only one that will allow subsequent import. You can select whether you want to export some pages, some collections, or all pages. Groups are a way to organize users to facilitate the sharing of pages and collections. We can create our own groups or join existing groups. My Groups tells us which groups we belong to. Find Groups takes you to a page with a group finder where we can search by name, or even create ours. Friends can also be a way to streamline the process of sharing pages and collections. In these two pages, we can check our list of current friends or search among other users to send a friend request. My Friends shows us our list of friends. Find Friends is a user finder to whom we can send a friend request. In this page, we can see a list of the institutions to which we belong. In this page you can see or participate in conversations that exist, discussions, forums and questions.